Hello, everybody. This is Patrick and Bryce from Stone Security. Uh, today's webisode, we are going to talk about search on motion and milestone and how to do that. Um, we get this question a lot. So if you're wondering how to search on motion and milestone, this is for you. Uh, go ahead, Bryson. Awesome. Thanks so much, Patrick. Yeah, so we're going to go over uh, searching uh, off of your playback by based off of motion settings and um, or motion data inside of the camera system here. So first off right here, when you in the smart client, you can access the search a couple of different ways. So you have the search tab up here at the top um, that you can click on and go over to your to your search based off of the views that you're on and you can pull in cameras that way. You also have the tile down here as well that'll pull up this toolbar that allows you to send this camera to a new search window as well. So I can go ahead and I can do that. Let's uh, specify like on this camera right here. I can send this over to a new search window and this is going to pull up my search section and search tab right here that'll allow me to specify a time range that I'm looking at right here. So I have my start and end time right here and I can click on this and I can specify last two hours, six hours, and these are all predefined times right here, or I can do a custom interval right here. Um, and so when I do custom interval, it brings up my two calendars right here where I can specify my date and my time range right here. Um, right now I'm basically on a two hour duration, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that right there. You can see here I have my warehouse camera right here, which is the camera that I brought over, and I have my option here to search for. So right now uh, it's just showing me, you know, the, the camera itself. I'm not really looking for anything in particular right now. So when I click search for, since we're going to be searching for motion, my option right here is going to be motion. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new search right here. And you're going to notice it's going to fill it out with some more results right here, but I want to narrow this down for specific motion that occurs so I can come here into the motion section right here and I can filter off of this and I can specify a motion area and those that are familiar to milestones. Uh, smart search in the past. This is uh, very similar to that. This is just a new way of doing that. So right here I can then specify a region that I want to look at. So I can then draw a box right here and that'll then pull up any motion that occurs in just that section right there. So once I've done that and I've drawn my box, I can now draw a second box if I wanted to as well, or I can close this out right here. And in my search window, I'll get the motion that occurred just in that section right there. You'll see here a little tile and preview right here in order to see anytime motion occurred in that section right there and I can click on each one of these and it'll then play back that section right there and you'll see when the motion happened and occurred right there on the window. Um, I can do that for all these different views click right through here and specify when it was. Sometimes you'll get, you know, light data and stuff like that that'll trigger it. And it is a two dimensional. So as someone, you know, walks past it, it'll uh, cross. So even if they just cross that section there, it will trigger it as well. But one cool thing that's nice about the new search uh, uh, section here when you're basing off of motion. So if I come here and I click in the search tab right here and I can do this the other way as well, but I can come in and I can actually add more than one camera. So I can come in and I can add that a warehouse PTZ camera as well, and I can do a search for motion again. So we can do a new search here, and I can specify my motion area, and I can do it on multiple cameras. So I can come here and I can say, show me when motion occurred uh, right here on this camera, and then I can go over to this camera and say, show me when motion occurred right here, and draw those boxes right there, and I can go ahead and hide the the. Or I don't want to actually, sorry. And then I hit exit right here, and then it'll pull up that camera search during my time frame that I had specified for those multiple cameras. In the past, smart search would only let you search one camera at a time. This will let you do up to a hundred different cameras at a single time, which can be really helpful to really speed up the process of searching for motion. So that's searching for motion in the Milestone Smart Client. Easy peasy. Thanks, Bryson. If anyone has yeah. any questions on, um, you know, further, um, you know, search features and milestone um, or anything else, please shoot uh, shoot us a note support at stonesecurity.net. Thank you very much.